This is a 2020 Subaru Forester. And like with most of Subaru's top-end CVT offerings, it is equipped with Subaru's EyeSight driver and safety assistance systems. Well, what is EyeSight and how does it work? That's what we're here to ascertain. So what is Subaru EyeSight and, well, how does it work? Well, unlike other auto manufacturers who are making use of radar to run their driver assistance systems, Subaru has opted to take two video cameras and place them just here at the top of the windscreen. You can see them there. And what that essentially does is it gives your car stereo eyesight, just like a human being. Now with radar, it can sense that there's something there and then uh, do whatever it needs to. With the eyesight, it actually sees and recognizes what is there and reacts accordingly. Bit of a unique twist on the whole thing. Now, the eyesight system is just a small portion of all of the safety systems that are available in a Subaru. And we're gonna test five of the big ones today. Now, the last one is probably going to be the most nerve-wracking, so you might want to stick around for that. Not much else left to do, but um, get on with it. So uh, here we go, test number one. So here you are, driving on the freeway. EyeSight is actually watching the lines on the road. Now you're looking for your turn-off, and you don't always happen to notice that the car tends to drift inside of the lanes. And while looking for your turn off, the car starts drifting off. And what you're going to get is an audio and visual warning that you're drifting out of your lane. And you can correct. We would have liked to have seen a little bit of force feedback or maybe a, a vibration or something to warn you. Uh, maybe even self-steer to get you back into the lane. But on the whole, a very useful item. Now, another very useful thing that uh, the Subaru is fitted with is blind spot monitoring. Now, not really useful with the eyesight, but if you're busy looking for your off-ramp and you don't happen to notice the cars coming up in your rear, what happens is you'll get a small, in your peripheral vision, you'll get a small little light that blinks over here to let you know that hey, there's something there and you better watch out and don't move over. Now blind spots are always a bit of a problem. And one of the nice things about this vehicle is it has a single camera underneath the passenger side mirror, which gives you a three quarter facing forward view of everything that's in the blind spot of the car over there. Now, if you should put the car into reverse and start reversing, it'll give you an alert that there's something there you don't ride into it. Now, another one of the safety systems which we really, really like is the eyesight detects objects in front of the car, whether it be a wall or a, an object or something of the sorts. And if you should accidentally put the car into drive instead of reverse, it will actually apply the brakes and prevent you from driving forward into the object wall. Um, there is a small problem though, and that is it, if it's a plain white wall, the cameras can't see it. It has to be textured or have paint on it. On the other side of the spectrum, if you're in reverse and you're reversing and uh, there is an object, a person or a wall or something, it will automatically apply the brakes and prevent you from reversing into said object. Well, here we are, the big one. So. What we're gonna do is we're going to drive down this stretch of road at 60 k's an hour towards that big yellow cone. Now the system should recognize the cone as an obstacle and progressively apply the brakes and we should not hit the cone. Here goes. Didn't doubt it for a second. Subaru's EyeSight really is a very unique take on driver assistance systems. And we do like Subaru's left field approach to things. 
Now the system isn't without its shortcomings. Um, there are small things like the fact that it cannot be used in inclement weather. So heavy rain, dense fog, the system's not going to work. Uh, small things like it, the fact that it can't distinguish a plain white wall. It needs a textured surface or paint so that it can get its bearings. We would like to see the inclusion of things like uh, self-steer or at least a little bit of force feedback in that lane keeping assist function. Other than that, the technology is sound, the system works well as it is, and well, we can't really wait to see what they bring out with in the next iteration. So go on and give it a test.